Could have gone on forever. Hello, this is Jamie. That's Emma. We're talking about tea. Again. Probably mostly about tea, sometimes. Sometimes I make sandwiches. Yeah, we're also eating sandwiches. <laughs> what tea are we drinking? Green. Yeah, today we're drinking green tea. I'm gonna do something a bit different. In my hand, I have two puffs. Wait, that was backwards. Green. There we go. Good. I'm glad that you know you're normal from your mirror. So in this one, oh, which way did you pour them? Nice cup has nice tea. Okay. Nasty cup has nasty tea. Um, I both this like is... all my cups are nice. I know. Okay, so on our left we have um, the nice tea, and on our right. We have not particularly nice tea, which I think is a political statement from Emma. Well, it's a value judgement, which shouldn't be done. But in my opinion, well, according to Jamie, I've not actually tried them. Okay, so the idea was, now we should also say we're sitting outside, which is why there's traffic noise going past. You can probably tell we're sitting outside. What you probably can't tell is that we're in Glasgow, because of the huge sun glare that's currently going over the whole screen, and the fact yeah. it's September. Um, which, you know, adds up to being pretty unusual. That's why we're outside. That is why we are outside. Yeah, but I was talking about how we're doing something a bit different. Tea. Yeah, we are. The idea being, a lot of people drink green tea with jasmine in it. It's not something I really do very often. And part of that is that jasmine's just nice. And part of it, I think, is that it disguises some of the more unpleasant features of not particularly good tea. So what we have here is two teas. At the moment, they don't have any jasmine in them. We're planning to drink some tea and discuss a bit about the characteristics of each tea. And then put, put jasmine, jasmine in it. Put jasmine in it, do a second infusion, and see, see, see if it tastes good, see if um, using more expensive tea is beneficial with the jasmine. Or whether jasmine is good for not so expensive tea. Or whether the jasmine does actually benefit the, more, the less expensive tea. Um, and, you know, just do a general comparison of the two. Mm -hmm. So, our less expensive tea is our old friend Imperial Choice. Premium grade green tea. Uh, much like the Ferrero that we discussed from them, it's not really premium grade. This is about a pound fifty worth of tea down the Chinese supermarket. And the better tea that we have, again, it's not a hugely, hugely expensive tea or anything, is Premium grade, fresh green, long chain tea from In Nature. Good old In Nature. Um, with their expensive looking box. With their expensive looking box. And really nice packaging. Yeah. Nice little bag inside the nice box. It's pretty good. Good if you want to give someone some tea. Yes. A gift. Yeah. And still only about six pounds or so. That's in Whole Foods. So, I'm going to try some. Which one should I try first? Uh, premium grade Imperial. Premium grade imperial choice. Yeah. The one on the right. Yeah. It's slightly more yellow, I think, in colour, but it's hard to tell in your cup. Yeah. In my cup. It is a darker colour, certainly. I'm going to try some. Now, you see, that's a perfectly decent green tea. Much better than you get in a bag, for example. Overwhelmingly better than you get in a bag. Um... Do you want to do, do your thing? What? Will you show the leaves? Oh, that, that thing. Yeah, I that. could do that. See, no, that's way better than a tea bag. Yeah, much, much better than a tea bag. Proper decent sized leaves. And, you know, they're alright. Pretty good. I'm going to try a bit more of this. Three sips, you. Yeah, three sips. It does go pretty well with the hummus and um, tofu and halloumi pizza breads that we're currently eating. 
They are delicious, and it goes with green tea. Yeah. Now, I can taste a bit of astringency in there. It's just a tiny little bit at the moment. But I think if we'd let it get any stronger, it would have gotten pretty unpleasant pretty quickly. I think the stuff left over in the pot is probably... Yeah, the stuff left in the pot is probably going to be pretty nasty. We'll try that before we put some... we reinfuse it. So I'm going to try the second one. It does smell lighter. See what you mean? Mm. Instantly it's just like a hundred times smoother. Oh, it's like home. Mm, it's really, really good, isn't it? I'm glad we chose to cha to taste Imperial first, because otherwise I would have been really upset with it. Yeah, it would have been like... <laughs> after this. Mm. Which is more like drinking silk. Yeah. That one's like drinking cotton. Mm. Cotton, yeah. Like, it's yeah, okay it's when good, you're doing it, but, but then you put on some silk and it's like, oh, like, oh it's so smooth. It's, it doesn't have any 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 bitterness at all, or any astringency. It is just straight up. No, that's really nice too. Yeah, really, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna try the other one again just to see. Mm. Yeah, it makes you sad after you've had the good one, haven't you? After a few sips, you do realise it's still quite a good tea. Yeah, yeah, but it's just that thing that hits you in the face. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still a, perf a, a pretty good tea, actually. Um, but... And, and for the money, it's really, really good. Because hmm. it's like 100, pound, uh, 100 grams. Not 100 grams. 100 crazy. pounds? Crazy talk. Somebody's got a trolley. Yeah, 100 grams for two pounds. And this is like six pounds for 50 grams. So, mm. it's like six times the price. I feel like I'm getting my tan on. Getting your tan on yeah. in the like 12 degree Glasgow September sun. This is a tan for me. Yeah, this is a tan for me. Yeah. Slightly less blue tint than normal. We've been outside all summer. Or tried to be. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. And look, have a look. look at this. Oh, you're, yeah, genuinely slightly less blue. <laughs> Can't really see it in that light. No. But look. Can't really see it in this light, but I do have a tan line. Around your watch. Yeah. Your wonderful Casio watch. Yeah. Cassio watch. Everyone's gonna love it. It's the only watch really, isn't it? I mean, why do you wear another watch? I don't really know. This but one this one does everything, you know? It's it's got the time, the date. Yeah. The day. Useful. Yeah. Cause sometimes we'd be like, what day is it? And I'd be I like, can't remember. Wednesday. Wednesday bra. Also, it's got an alarm. Up the Odin. And it's got a truly retro light. You can't even see it in this. No, light. you can't see it at all. It makes no difference in the sun. That's how retro it is. That's pretty good. But that right, fine. this says it didn't even say it's waterproof. It's water resistant. I capsized the canoe in it, and it was it was underwater for like minutes. That's pretty good. It's fine. Yeah. I know other people that find them like buried in a garden, and they're fine. Yeah. Still working. How did it get buried in the garden? I don't know. I went caving with this too. Caving. Filled with cave dirt. It's fine. Take it in a stride. Yeah. Yeah, so you could spend like a five on a lamb and, and it's indestructible, basically. Yeah. It's like the Nalgene of watches. It is. Do you suppose you could put it in an Nalgene full of water? Yeah. And that would be super indestructible. Throw it off a cliff, it'd be fine. Well, you could spend like a hundred pounds on a fancy watch. And it'll also tell you the time, the date, and the day. Yeah. Or it might not even tell you the day. And it would be, first of all, less stylish. Mm hmm Nothing is more stylish than an 80s digital Casio. Nothing. It's got back to the future chic. It has. I really like it. Um, and it would also break more. Mm-hmm. So I don't really understand the point. I don't really understand the point of watches either, since everybody just carries a phone nowadays. Oh, yeah, you're like halfway up a pitch. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm really the time. But my phone's in my bag because I'm climbing. Oh. I, I, I'm just gonna get it out, drop it down the cliff. That's broken. That's gone. Yeah, that's oh no, true. I could have just looked at my Casio watch! It's rare that I'm halfway up a pitch. Because I don't climb. I use this watch a lot on Sunday. Yeah. So I didn't miss the ferry. Is that because you're halfway up a cliff? Yes. That's one where I don't really want to be. Aaron. Aaron, I want to be, so I can find the Brachiopod cave. See, that's the thing that I find most amazing is yeah, you can see some rock, but. 
you know. You can see ripples, you can see footprints, you can see wormholes. Yeah, stuff like that, you know, that, that does bewilder me. I can understand when, like, animals come along, because, you know, it's, it's a thing, and then there's, like, a bit of mud falls on top of them. Yeah, but, like, footprints. Fine. But, like, footprints, how does that become Footprints and ripples. Yeah. Those transient things. Yeah, or, like, there's those really, really, really early fossils of, like, jellyfish-type things know. just sitting on the mud. Mm. Pretty cool. I like where animals like and eaten, and it leaves a little crack. Yeah, yeah. There's that one of the. It's like a hermit crab, um, and it's like wandering around in circles, and you can see its like its tracks, and then there's a hermit crab at the end. It's cool. It's pretty awesome. I guess it's like some mud fell on top of some other mud. They are different muds. From Glasgow, we have some awesome fossils. Mm, trees. We've got the trees in Victoria Park. Is it Victoria Park? It's Victoria mm -hmm. Park, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just all like. Trees. That's all it is. Actually, really. giant ferns. Yeah, giant ferns. Before trees were a thing. The Carboniferous. Can't remember. I think they're Carboniferous, but I might be wrong. And, um, yeah. But what's Im impressive trees. is that they're in situ. They haven't been moved. Yeah. They were just excavated around it and then they put a building up over it because they happen to be cool. found in the middle of a park. Useful. Yeah, it's really useful. And it's really exciting. And they're free entry as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just turn up, you, you look, at in, you look at the trees. They're only open at some times of the year. Yeah, summer I think. Yeah. And they're super cool. Oh, they're nice tea, yeah. Yeah, I'm out of nice tea. Oh, shit, man. Why didn't you say so? That one. Yeah, that one. I know it's that one. I poured those to begin with. Indeed, you did. Yeah, we should probably try the unnice one as well and see if it's gotten more stringent. When yeah. I say unnice, it is also nice. It's in, the, in okay. a fancy pot. This one. So shiny in the sunlight. So this is the unnice, less nice one. The less nice. Shaffordable. Shaffordable? So when you start to say sh and then you go affordable. Yeah. <laughs> Shaffordable. It's more like chic though. That's what I'm going to take from this. Chic, affordable. How is it now that it's been brewed for a bit longer? Um, it's affordable. It's affordable. It's, uh, it's pretty alright. Like, it's definitely got a lot more astringency than the other one. Mm. But I'd still drink it. It's not like... They've basically used the same amount of water, the same amount of these, and this, they've been brewed for the same amount of time. Let's try you, other tea. Yeah, let's try it. Mmm. Yeah, that's definitely not, like, I don't go blah, blah, blah no. when I drink it. You do that with a lot of tea. I do that with a lot of tea, yeah. Basically, if it's come out of a bag, I'll probably do that. And I'll drink it because I really like tea. I'm like, I might make me go blah, blah, but I still really like it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's fine, it's tea, I'll drink it. I like it. Taste the other one. It's, like, well-rounded and not astringent. Okay, let's try the fresh green long gin. Oh my goodness. It gets better with more more infusion. Yeah. You can taste more of the intricate subtleties. Sorry, I'm distracted by a wasp. Oh, hello, wasp. Yeah. You're always distracted by wasps. More like bees. It's like, yeah, but yeah, oh, look at me. Yeah. My driving instructor was pretty worried how I did that on the day of my test. <laughs> driving along, drive. oh, look at me. No, it was more like, oh my goodness, I think I hit a bee. <laughs> Uh, and then there was another time in the park where we were just hanging around and then you're like, a bee! And then you, you followed the bee. Yeah? Yeah. I wanted to see it do its bee thing. It was buzzing around in the flowers. It was cool. It was pretty cool. I had a fun time. More interesting than what you were saying. Okay. Mm. I think what we should do... Brew, brew, brew. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. Pause this recording. Jasmine up and come back. Yeah, let's do a wee musical interlude here.
rubbish and clipping. Okay. Now we're back, now your moustache is clean. Yeah, I think it's time to, that we played some you know, psychedelic music because it's sunny. But you don't have any like drums, do you? That's sad. We're just finishing up the end of the tea before we pour in a new tea. That nice one. I just took a massive mouthful of it and cut that bit up. Oh, I did as well. Yeah. Just drank half a cup in one. It was nice though. It was nice. It's sort of nutty almost. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. Nutty. Some weird noises going on in the background. <laughs> That's what happens when you, you film outside. I don't want this one. I don't want that one either. Um, I might just sort of try a wee sip of it. To remind myself of it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Still nice. Maybe I just pour it into this hamper. I'm gonna make you do that. I'm just gonna pour it. <coughs> With tea. I don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent. Very bad. Possibly. I'd assume. Although coffee grounds are good for plants. Coffee grounds are good for plants. But I'm not allowed to put them on the house plants because they attract flies. You have to like, bury it in. Yeah. But I'm really lazy. And you don't want to squish up the roots. Yeah, for little house plants, you'd squish up the roots. Give me your pot. I mean, give me your cup. Not that one. No, not that one. Oh, we were going for the, the not so good one. I'm pouring both of them. Fair enough. But the not so good one first. Yeah, it was closer. Good. Thank you. First thing I'm going to say about this not so good one is it doesn't look like it can take a second flush particularly well. Although well, it should do given the size of the leaves. It really ought to. It's like the same, the same colour as it was. <laughs> Give me your damn cup. Okay. Jeff, <laughs> what's you up with you? Up. I, I woke you up. How did I wake you up? I was in the sun, lying asleep. Well, not quite asleep. Oh, you got just now when we're halfway through the thing. Yes. Fair enough. You know. Stop it. <laughs> Do you want to play some psychedelic guitar? Okay, give me it. The nice thing about all those effects, you can really just, just not really play very much and it sounds quite nice. Good, isn't it? I'm bored now. You're bored now? I'm gonna drink this tea. Don't get my guitar wet. Look, it's fine. See, it loves it. <coughs> I don't think my guitar needs water. Having a bath. Nope. 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 <laughs> a grassy, grassy bath. This isn't like a super expensive guitar or anything, but I like it a lot. So that tastes nicer. It does with taste jasmine. nicer with the jasmine. It still, it doesn't really disguise any of the unpleasantness. It does. Well, it kind of takes a little edge off the astringency, but the bitterness is still there. It's also very hot at the moment. I noticed that when you have not so great tea, when it's really hot, you don't notice a lot of the unpleasant characteristics of it. Yeah. And then it gets to a sort of temperature you can drink a lot of it and you suddenly go, Doesn't that happen with the good tea as well? It tasted better and it was really hot. It did happen with the good tea as well. And I didn't sip it, but I to gulped a much, it. a much lesser extent. Yeah, gulping tea is, is usually a way of bringing out its worst qualities. Yeah. I think that one tastes less jasmine-y. Yeah, they've got the, the same nice amount one. of jasmine in them. I know, right? Weird. I think this one just has more natural flavour of its own. Which one is it? I think so. I'm going to play a major chord of happiness. The sun's away. Minor chord of sad. Now this is the sun going away chord. Sort of slightly discordant and tinged with sadness. Yeah, I'm cold then. I bet I'll put this back on in the summer coming. Coldness. No, that's too fast for coldness. Have you never listened to, like, you know, a bit of the old death metal? It's, it's a really cold music. Not death metal so much, black metal, like mayhem. Yesterday I listened to some doom metal. Oh, what kind of doom metal? I went to see Sword. I kind of wanted to see Sword, but Dorje were playing yesterday. 
um, and I didn't go and see them because by the time we were home from being out, um, they had basically already started because there was support out. I absolutely point blank refused to play anything by Paolo Maltini. New shoes on, it's on the new, everything is right. See, you did it though. <laughs> no, I didn't. I played some random chords. No, no, no. This is our cover. Our cover. Our vitamin B cover. Our vitamin our... B cover of Paolo Maltini. So you have played Paolo Maltini. It's just I, a cover. I don't really dislike him any more than I dislike oh, Ed Sheeran. Have you, have you tried the Have you tried the um, the nice jasmine? I have. It doesn't taste so much as jasmine. It has I more just, of its own flavor. I just took a sip of it a second ago and I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I kind of am a bit torn between whether I prefer it with the jasmine or without. Because I kind of like the just simplicity of just the tea. Yeah. Well, that has a delicious flowiness. We should possibly talk about the actual jasmine. This clip has left a large ear hole. Yeah, it's more to stop the jasmine going everywhere than to keep the air out, but you're right. You no, are but look, right. I bet I could get it to go everywhere through that hole. Stop making it go everywhere through that hole. <laughs> okay. Point for Ovid. It's East India Trading. No, it's not East India Trading. East Asia Trading. East Asia Trading Limited. Which is, you know, preferable because they're not going to try and sell us China. I'm going to try one of the, the other ones now, the the Imperial Choice. Not Imperial Choice. Imperial Choice. Still pretty good. It is still pretty good. It just definitely lacks that loveliness. Do we have any conclusions? Um, not so good tea, I think, is better with a little bit of jasmine. Good tea is good with both. Yeah, good tea is good with both. I would say my main thing that I've taken out of this is that it's, I think, vastly better to not buy jasmine tea. But to get your own jasmine. But to buy your own jasmine. Because this costs a pound. And there's loads. Like, loads and loads and loads. It costs a pound. And I've used most of it. This isn't how much it comes with. It's, you know, full right to the top. Net weight. Net 30 weight, 30 grams. grams. But you don't but need... Like 30 grams of flour, that's quite a lot. Yeah, I know, exactly. They're really, they're really, really, really light. They're just blossoms, so they don't weigh anything. Um, Dried blossoms. Yeah. Even lighter. Exactly, yeah. And... When you buy just jasmine tea, it's almost impossible to find good quality tea. Yeah. Um, at most, it'll be this this kind of quality, which is good. But not as good as good. But it would be very difficult to find better quality than this. Mm -hmm. With jasmine in it already. And so you put it together yourself, and thus it's, you can choose how jasmine it is. You can choose exactly what kind of tea you want. You can mix it up. Yeah. You can say, oh, today I'm going to have just like basic jasmine tea. And then the next day you can be like, oh, I'm going to have like amazing, amazing grade tea. And a little bit of jasmine in it. Just a little oh. touch on the side. That's what I usually use this for, I think. Rather than trying to disguise the stringency. Blah, blah, blah. Disguise the stringency of the less high grade tea. I'd probably use it just as a little, just a little touch on the side of, um, of some really good green tea. A flowery note. A flowery note, exactly. Uh, most most really good green teas don't need that, but it doesn't mean that it, it isn't nice. It isn't nice. It is nice. And what I was, I was slightly concerned about is that it would sort of be a waste of the really good tea. But it's not. It's not a waste of the really good tea. I don't think it takes away anything from it at all. It keeps all the really nice characteristics that were there. No, it just adds just a little something else. Adds a little subtle floral nose. Nose. I don't want a nose in my tea. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Take that out. I ended up with some jasmine on my tongue. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens when you get jasmine blossom in your mouth. <laughs> you could just have a strainer if you don't want that. Yeah. Well, these, these teapots do have strainers built into them, but they clearly not fine mesh strainers, so they do let things through sometimes. I think we've concluded now. Now we should sign off. Bye. Bye.
Sorry, I wasn't listening to you. I was looking at a wasp. Defend this in the grass.